Welcome to our video on the role of Turkish drones in modern warfare. In this video, we'll be discussing how inexpensive digital technology is revolutionizing the way countries approach military conflict, specifically with the use of Turkish drones like the Bayraktar TB2. Turkey's drones are made with inexpensive digital technology to destroy tanks and other armored vehicles as well as air defense systems in the wars in Syria, Libya, Azerbaijan, and most lately in Ukraine. These drones suggest that the future of warfare will be shaped as much by affordable but efficient military vehicles as by expensive ones with the most advanced technology. One of the most famous is Bayraktar TB2. Bayraktar TB2 is a tactical armed slash unmanned system developed and manufactured by drone manufacturer Baykar. According to the company Baykar, more than 200 Bayraktar platforms are in service in Turkey, Qatar, Ukraine, and Azerbaijan. The purpose of the Bayraktar TB2 aircraft is tactical, reconnaissance, observation, and combat operations against enemy fortified positions, armored and non-armored vehicles, tanks, anti-aircraft defense systems, artillery systems, and others. Practically, the drone aircraft is capable of operating both day and night and for precisely performing combat actions on targets with the help of laser-guided missiles, which have been proven in the battles in Syria, Libya, and Nagorno-Karabakh. The drone has a compact, powerful construction that houses the wings and a nose tubular construction to connect the fuselage to the drone's tail in the shape of the letter V. For the production of the drone, carbon was used, fibers of composite materials were largely used, and their connection was realized with the help of specially treated aluminum alloys. Electronic equipment is located in the fuselage of the drone, such as the BSI-101 radio receiver, BUK-101 flight control computer, mini autopilot system, BGK-01 power distribution system, and others. A multi-sensor electronic ball is mounted on the lower central part of the aircraft's fuselage, designed for reconnaissance, tracking, and laser targeting of missiles. Practically until October 2020, a Westcom CMX-15D, Canadian-made, multi-sensor electronic ball was installed, and then it was replaced by an Aselsan CATS EO-IR-LD, Turkish-made. Otherwise, a field mapping device, used to make high-resolution maps, can be mounted on the carriers under the wings, and record thousands of square kilometers can be mapped in a day. Bajraktar TB2 has a built-in flight control system with the possibility of autonomous mapping, takeoff, cruise, landing, and parking without the help of external auxiliary sensors. Fuel tanks are built into the wings of the airplanes, i.e. 150 liters are placed in each wing, and when the engine is empty, they are automatically balanced with the help of electromagnetic valves. The TB2 is lightly armed with four laser-guided missiles, and its radio-controlled system limits its basic range to around 300 kilometers, roughly one-fifth of the area the MKU-9 can cover. Four weapon racks are placed under the wings, and use standard MAML and MAMC laser-guided missiles, and have already been successfully tested with Elanta's laser-guided missiles. The Bayraktar TB2 control station is located on the ground and developed according to NATO standards and has dimensions of 2,240 by 5,900 by 2,300 millimeters and a weight of 2,150 kilograms. They are equipped with air conditioning, an ABHO protection system, electronic housing protection, hardware equipment, and a three-member crew. Bayraktar TB2 is also successfully used for other non-military and civilian purposes such as border services, gendarmerie, and also for crisis management as demonstrated by the last earthquake in Izmir where drones were used to detect people buried by an earthquake. Even the famous Wall Street Journal and compares Bayraktar TB2 with the American MQ-9. A set of six Bayraktar TB2 drones, ground units, and other equipment for basic operations cost tens of millions of dollars, instead of hundreds of millions for just one MQU-9. But even so, its practical and reliable qualities reminiscent of the Soviet Kalashnikov AK-47 rifle, which changed the way warfare was done in the 20th century. It can be produced in mass and it doesn't cost much, but it's a deadly and strategically dangerous weapon for those who know how to operate it. Bayraktar TB2 became an internationally known first in the Syrian war early last year when the Turkish military launched Operation Spring Shield in northern Syria, supported by electronic warfare systems, ground troops, artillery, and warplanes. The Libyan civil war helped turn the tide of the war. 
Advanced drone tactics have been perfected in Syria, providing an advantage against Russian-made surface-to-air missile systems known as Panzer, and then, in Libya, giving air superiority to the government in Tripoli. Similarly, Bayraktar was used in Azerbaijan, where it devastated the Armenian army which didn't stand a chance with Turkish drones. The same could be said in the Ukraine war, where even songs were named because of their great effectiveness. In conclusion, it's clear that Turkish drones like the Bayraktar TB2 are playing a significant role in shaping the future of warfare. With their affordable yet effective capabilities, these drones are proving to be a game changer in the Middle East and North Africa region and beyond. While they may not be as expensive as some other military vehicles, their efficiency and effectiveness make them valuable assets in any military operation.